everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I have some awesome new simple crock pot recipes that are perfect for those nights when you're running to the baseball field and the soccer field, and you just want something easy for dinner. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. The first recipe that I'm sharing with you today is for crock pot creamy marinara chicken. This has some really good things in it. It's really quick to put together. You have a little work to do in the end because you're going to be boiling your pasta and adding your spinach. But this is such a delicious, easy recipe that is in big demand at my house. So what you're going to be needing for this recipe is two large boneless skinless chicken breasts. I have mine seasoned um, with salt and pepper, garlic powder, and Mrs. Stash, a little bit of paprika, and then you're going to be adding to it some ranch seasoning. You can use a packet, or if you have a container like this, you're going to need about three tablespoons. You'll also need your favorite jarred tomato sauce. You will need a block of cream cheese. You'll need some pasta. I will probably only use about maybe um, three quarters of this container. You can use whatever pasta that you like or whatever you have in your cabinet. You'll need some fresh spinach. And then I like to use a combination of some provolone, mozzarella, and a little bit of Locatelli Romano, and that is what you sprinkle on in the very end of this recipe. I sprayed my crock pot really well with some non-stick spray, and I'm just going to put our chicken breast here at the bottom. Then I'm going to add about three tablespoons or so of ranch seasoning. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it here and then you're going to add your container or your jar of marinara sauce right on top. I like to add a little bit of water to the bottom there just so I can get all the good stuff. And then add your block of cream cheese. You can add the whole block in there if you want. I just like to cut it up into pieces and lay it right on top of the chicken. Then cover and you can cook this on high for four hours or low four to six hours. I like to start it off on high and then I pedal it back a little bit. So I probably cook this for about three and a half hours. Towards the end of cooking time, you're going to start to cook your pasta. I'm just adding a little bit of salt to the water, and then I'm going to get my pot boiling away. I want to check the temperature of the chicken. So this chicken is well over 200 and completely done. So we will start to shred it up. It is so well cooked, I don't even have to remove it from the pot. I can just shred it right here in the crock pot. Once you have the chicken well shredded, you're going to add about four large handfuls of fresh spinach. I know it seems like a lot. You really can't overdo it. Remember that spinach always cooks down to practically nothing. Just add back your lid for about like 15 or 20 minutes. After that, you're going to add your cooked pasta right to the crock pot, mix it really well, and then add a combination of like mozzarella cheese, provolone cheese, a little bit of Romano or you can even use Parmesan cheese. Just add the lid for a few minutes until all the cheese is nicely melted and you're ready to serve. I really do love these all-in-one dinners like this. All you need to do is add a green salad if you want with a little bit of garlic bread and you have such a yummy dinner. Using a jarred sauce makes it super simple. You can also use your own homemade marinara sauce if you wish. I highly recommend this recipe. My family loves it and it has become a part of our monthly rotation.
So this next recipe has become our new family favorite. I don't even know if it has a name. I have been calling it Crock-Pot Ritz Chicken. It's really quick to make. It is so creamy and so delicious. You can serve this up so many different ways on top of rice, mashed potatoes, um, egg noodles, whatever you like best. So for this recipe, you are going to need two to three um, large size chicken breast. I have mine cut in half and I've seasoned them with salt and pepper, garlic powder, a little minced onion, paprika. Um, I always think that in a crock pot recipe that you cannot go wrong if you weigh on the side of extra seasoning. So this is our chicken. You're going to need two sleeves of Ritz crackers. You're going to need about five tablespoons of melted butter, a cup of sour cream. I'm going to add an additional um, few shakes of some minced onion. You will need a can of cream of chicken soup. I have a cream of chicken with herbs and you will need a packet of ranch seasoning. So to a medium bowl, you're going to add your cream of chicken soup. You can use whatever kind you like. I just happen to have cream of chicken with herbs. And then you are going to add about a cup of sour cream. I am just going to eyeball it. This is a 16 ounce container, so I'm gonna do about half. And you want to combine this really well. So you want to melt your five tablespoons of butter. You can do it in the microwave, in a bowl. I just like to do everything on the stove top and I have it in the pan here. And then you are just going to crush and add your two sleeves of Ritz crackers. Once they're all crushed, you're just going to mix the crackers up with the butter until they're really well combined. I sprayed my crock pot with some nonstick cooking spray and I have my seasoned chicken all laid out. I'm going to add my cream of chicken soup and sour cream mixture right on top. And then we're going to spread out the Ritz crackers on top. The combo of the Ritz crackers and this creamy sauce are so delicious together. You guys are going to love this recipe. And then to the top, you're going to add a little bit of minced onion. And then you're going to add your whole packet of ranch seasoning. And just sprinkle that evenly on top. Then you're going to cover and cook on low for four hours. Usually what I do is I start out on high for about an hour and then I pedal it back to low for the remaining two to three hours. I serve the Ritz chicken on top of a combination of white and brown rice, but this is just as good over mashed potatoes. I have a side here of some broccoli, and this has just become one of our family's most favorite recipes. If you try nothing else from today's video, give this recipe a try. It is just so, so good. I am always on the lookout for good dessert crock pot recipes. Anytime that I can dump everything in my crock pot and go about my day, the happier I am. Now this recipe is for crock pot 
peach cobbler and it is one of the best that I have come across in a really long time. So what you're going to need for this recipe is two cans of peach pie filling. You're going to need a cake mix. Now you can use yellow cake, French vanilla cake. I just like to use the classic white cake. You're going to need a little bit of cinnamon. You'll need a half of a cup of melted butter and a few pecans to add to the top. So for your crock pot, you're going to want to spray it really, really well with some non-stick cooking spray, or you can use one of those um, crock pot liners. Now I have sprayed my crock pot here, and I am going to add both cans of the peach pie filling. There you go. And you're just going to want to smooth it out on the bottom of your crock pot. Then in another bowl, you're going to empty your cake mix and you're going to take your half a stick of butter that you've melted. You can do this in the microwave or on the stove top and you're going to dump that butter in the cake mix and kind of mix it around until it is nice and crumbly. You're going to want it to look something like this and as you put it on top of your pie filling, you're gonna break up any of the big chunks with your fork. Then you're going to take your cake mix and butter and you're going to sprinkle it over the top of your pie filling, just like you would do like a crumbly topping for a pie. Just make sure that you distribute it as evenly as possible over the whole top. Because this is what's going to give the cobbler like topping. Then to the top, I'm just going to add a little sprinkling of cinnamon and a little sprinkling of chopped pecans. Now you could leave this part out, but I think it really adds a delicious flavor to this whole thing. Cover and cook on high for two hours. So I have let this cook for about two and a half hours and the house smells so, so good. So we're going to take a peek and see if it's done. So it definitely looks done to me. So we are going to plate it up. My favorite way to serve this is with some vanilla ice cream on the side and a little sprinkle of cinnamon sugar. I have done many crock pot desserts, but I think this one has got to be one of my favorites. This peach cobbler is so delicious. It's easy to put together and it only takes a couple hours to cook. Then you have a most delicious dessert to eat with some ice cream or whipped cream on top. Such a great finish to a delicious meal. I so believe that crock pot meals are a year round favorite. There's always a good excuse to load a crock pot up in the morning and let it cook all day. Spring is such a busy time of year for so many families that it can really be difficult to avoid that fast food line. The crock pot meals are always there to provide a home cooked meal for the family and an excuse to sit around the table just a little while longer to be together. So thank you all so much for watching today. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of these recipes were your favorite. Join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our ever-growing YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other. Stay safe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.